Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We've got a mobile video for you from our podcast studio here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to share the very funny response from Joey and Kelsey where they say, We tried our best. We didn't realize this fan base was as crazy as they are. And we didn't think they would sleuth out the spoiler. So I'm going to share that plus a cornucopia of content as we've got so many different tidbits coming from all ends of the globe because Joey and Kelsey, they do the press junket. Everyone gets a slice of the pie. Everyone but me wasn't invited, although I do have it on record that there are plenty of big names on this season that want to do Driving with Dave. I guess they want to chat with me, but why are we holding them back? Put me in the lineup, folks. I'm ready to play. Well, we played last night. Guys, I got to tell you, my voice may be hoarse and I may be unstable, but I am uh, brimming with love from... The, I don't know, 160 plus people that came to the show last night. Uh, we did probably an hour and a half long meet and greet. Everyone got to say hi to Clayton. We did a Q&A. I'm going to, I shot a three camera. I shot three cameras. I paid this guy a good amount of money so that you could check it out online. I'm sorry, it won't be free. It'll be on Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I'm going to share my 30 minute set. I made some jokes I might have to bleep out. Uh, not because they're offensive to many, but maybe to some uh, that those being, uh, you know, those that have committed, uh, you know, you know, medical fraud and things like that. But anyway, you'll get more of that content and I'll give you on today's Patreon, which will be in Arizona time. I think I'm on West Coast time. I don't even know um, in half an hour. So that'll be at 10, 15 a.m. Arizona time, which I think is 1 15 p.m. East Coast time. You do the math. So I'll be over there on Patreon describing that before I got to check out. And I'm going to go do a chat with Courtney Robertson. And I know what you're saying, Dave, get to the point. Well, I'm only making one video today. This is all I got time to do. So I, I, I just, from the people that were sharing, and I'll say this again on Bachelor Rush Hour podcast today, from the people that shared so many gifts with me, I have a stack of gifts right there. Uh, I haven't showed my wife yet. Cowboy boots for the baby. Clayton's mom got me gifts. Everyone was so kind. We met Cassidy Timbrook's parents. They were there. Courtney Robertson. Everyone that came, people flew in from Seattle, Chicago, Texas, drove in from Tucson, SoCal. Collectively, people spent months worth of time coming out to this show, if you had to add it all up. I am so beyond grateful that they supported not just live stand-up, but my live stand-up. We had so much fun last night. Thank you all so, so much. All right, I'm going to get to this story, but like I said, I've got a few others to get to first, so let's go through it here. The first being how Joey Graziday, am I pronouncing that right? I still don't know. How Joey uh, gave us the best Bachelor season of all time. It's not just that he's hot and thoughtful, although that certainly doesn't hurt. I'll just read a clip. The past few years have been rough for the Bachelor fans. Season after season of the franchise's flagship series, we've faced uncharismatic leads, racism scandals, and problematic cads. Emotional intelligence has been nowhere to be found, and too often any sense of real humor has proven just as elusive. The bar was through the floor, but then in walked Joey. So, what a nice piece about Joey. Best Bachelor in recent histi history. But now that his run is complete, I think we can all agree that this season was actually the best of all time. Wow. And now, best of all time. I don't, I don't know how you rate that. I mean, on what metric? That he's in love with Kelsey? Sure. Um, there, Jesse Palmer's dubbing it Joey Mania. You know, I actually haven't seen how the ratings have been, but you would think that uh, Golden Bachelor having good ratings was going to, you know, help boost the show. So... We'll have to see. Did it save what's coming next with Jenna as the Bachelorette? Actually, I wasn't going to play this, but let's do it. I'm going to play this on the podcast, but I'll play a quick clip for you. This is Dear Shandy, one of our favorites. If I have to have any podcast crush, like couple crush, it's on Dear Shandy. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of emotional intelligence, I just love them. I love their voice. Okay, I could I could go on and on. Their set looks really nice too. So professional. Whenever uh, whenever Charlene's got out the iPad, you just know she's going to bring some info. So here's what she had to say about the Bachelorette being Jen. Although, Andy, you were not thrilled with this moment. Jesse asks what she's looking for, and she says she's looking for someone with a really big, like really big 
personality. Oh, <laughs> what, what made this painful is that there was oh, not dear. one chuckle. Not, not one chuckle. Not a chuckle in a house that is primed for chuckling. Yes. Uh, you know, he goes, to house that is, that's what it is. There's a warm up comedian. Everyone's, come on, make some noise. And then Jen's like, I want a big personality. And I was like, you mean what? Was it a play on what you meant dick? I don't know. Weird. Even a Jesse, stadium of chucklers. Yeah, so not what, one chuckled. Even Jesse was like, no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just, wait, just make believe it wasn't a joke. Wait, so you what What do you think? Yeah, if this wasn't live, they would have 100% edited that out. Went wrong here. Her delivery or do you okay, think that the number joke... Number one, let's have a moment of silence for this joke. Let's, we should have a... There, this, this is a joke worthy of a full funeral procession. Like a requiem. Like Mozart's requiem okay. should be played after this joke. This is maybe the worst choice of joke I've ever seen. First of all, if you're going to make a penis joke, uh -huh. first choose the right moment to make a penis joke. Yeah, you don't yeah. you don't introduce yourself to America as a bachelorette <laughs> yeah. with not only a penis joke, but the most hackneyed worst <laughs> penis joke there is on earth. There's no hackier penis joke okay. than I want someone with a big personality. <laughs> not to kill this joke, but whenever you tell a joke, you have to look for the switch the thing that turns the premise into the punchline. So the premise is I want someone with a big and big is the key word. And you're thinking they're going to say penis. And then of course the punch is personality and you're still starting with a P. So you're implying penis, but then you're saying, you know, it's just, I mean, not, not to, not to say you need me to murder the joke. It was already murdered. And I had someone in the comment section say, quit making fun of Jen quit. No, I mean, it was just, it just bombed. And it's like, I can't not acknowledge the bomb because I have to bathe myself because I have, and we overuse the term secondhand embarrassment, but I have that for how bad that joke was. <laughs> have you ever la has anyone in history in like the 1700s, someone made that joke and they got a chuckle. And after that, no one's ever left. Okay. So there it is. I'm going to share some more thoughts on this on today's bachelor rush hour this afternoon, but absolutely love the, uh, and I can't believe dear Shandy doesn't have more YouTube subscribers. I really can't. They crush it. Their audio is great. Their video is great. Their chemistry is I mean, they just got it all going on. She was an alumni. She's hosted bachelor in paradise. They're beautiful. We just, we love them. Absolutely love them. Uh, have me on. Uh, <laughs> and then, so anyway, uh, best of all time. And then here we have the story featured from the thumbnail. Joey and Kelsey on accidentally spoiling their bachelor season. We tried our best. Now, I'm going to refresh this, but I don't believe we have video of this. This is how poor this article is. They did this press junket. They literally have the photo. They, they did a whole bunch of different interviews here. So you can see it's same backdrop. They essentially rent out some hotel room or go to some production studio, wherever they go, and they do these press junkets. Why is this in 400 p it's not even 720p it's not 1080p and it certainly isn't 4k why are we doing these professional interviews and not shooting them high quality when all they have to, and again this isn't joey's problem this is the producer's problem look how low quality this image is have you ever seen somebody so beautiful be mistreated so greatly by not having a higher quality i know somebody's on their walk right now listening and not watching and they go all right i gotta get on my phone and see what the hell dave's talking about i've seen the zabruda film with higher quality than this student productions can you know what soft focus bs is my only, the only reason I could say that this photo is such low quality is that they're so good looking that they fogged up the lens. That's the best thing I could think of. It's like, oh, maybe they're just so good looking. The lens is fogged up. Um, anyway, here's the article. Um, and, and they said, we will never underestimate the fans ever again. Well, too little, too late. And if you don't know what they're talking about, this is what happened. Together. My guess is that they wouldn't be that dumb. But then again, we know uh, contestants have accidentally spoiled the seasons in the past. I said they wouldn't have been that dumb. Whoops. Sorry, Joey. I didn't mean they were dumb. I just meant I couldn't believe that uh, it was spotted that Joey's Instagram and her Instagram had the same like Ikea style Airbnb. You know, those Airbnbs that are just shittily made, you know, that are flipped like that's exactly what this is. So 
that was the new ending that was spoiled. And in like, yeah, like I said, I just, I couldn't believe it happened because it was just too obvious. Like don't shoot any content in the Airbnb, the safe house. That's that, that's the only time for them to be alone together. And then of course they found content that was like, and you got to give credit to um, uh, Sands, the lady who found this because she was looking at telephone wires. She was up there in one of those bucket lifts hanging out with the utility companies. You know, that bird flocked that way. Someone farted and I smelt it in the alley. I mean, they literally were all over this. Who had Thai food last night? I smelled curry. Did you fart? They were, they were there's, you know, uh, no, is that some pad thai? Okay. The whole deal. Uh, cause you know, he had a stain on his shirt that looked like he might've had some Chilean sea bass cause she was, you know, and it just goes on and on. Um, so anyway, they say voodoo really works. So let's go down to the actual question here. Uh, Congrats. And again, I have to read this because it's just a transcript. Congrats. Now that you can be in public, what is the most boring, normal couple thing that you're most looking forward to doing? And they were like, going on Nick's podcast. No, I'm kidding. Uh, she said grocery shopping. And he's like, it's like so simple and stupid, but we just can't wait to like go to a grocery store together. Do you each have particular grocery store shopping styles that you are going to need to meld? She said, I'm a list girl. So I have to have a list before I go. Otherwise I go in there aimlessly and get a bunch of things I don't need. So beforehand, sit down, curate a list of what we need, what we want to cook, for the week and then go in and you know be real strategic about it he said i've never made a shopping list in my life oh i hate how precise this is with gender but like it's the same way with me uh, my wife's like we have to make a list and i'm like when you make a list you spend too much money when you don't have a and again you might disagree and say if you don't have a list you're buying everything yeah but if you don't have a list you forget some of the things and you don't end up buying them you know how's that for 3d chess uh, he's like, I never made a list in my life. And she goes, I didn't know that. Never. So then they're having their first fight. He said, never. I just go in and it's a free for all. I get anxiety in a grocery store. I get lost. I'm like, wait, what aisle is it? This is so funny. I wish I had the video of this. Uh, she said, probably because you don't have a list. And then he's like, there you go. So, uh, is this real? This is really funny. Um, they're going to spend the summer together. Let's just kind of go down to, oh, Dancing with the Stars. Does one of these other things involve dancing and stars? He said, people have brought that up a couple of times. That is a conversation for another time for us to figure out. Right now, I'm just excited to be off of reality TV show and engage this beautiful woman. That's what I'm focusing on. Yeah, it's like, would Kelsey be jealous if he's dancing with some beautiful dancer all day? I don't know, would you? Kelsey, what is one thing about Joey that you wish they showed more of on The Bachelor? She said, I wish that they showed more of his story and how funny and fun he is. They're trying to show all the stories of these amazing women but watching it back I was always like thinking oh I wish that they had more of Joey and who he is oh we'll get to know him uh so he says my answer would have been her personality how goofy she is oh yeah we we get to see how goofy she is based on her TikToks I mean she's super goofy with her TikToks all right let's go straight to the spoiler part um da -da -da -da. Let's see. Here's our third one. All right, guys. We have to talk about the fact that you accidentally spoiled the season back in February by posting Instagram stories and TikToks from the same house. So when you click on this, what does it go to? It probably goes to a link to their own thing. Oh, it goes to BachelorNation.scoop. Oh, that's nice that they linked to them. Um, you know, there was the original source was Sands from the Reddit. Um, they said, uh, during one of your happy cuppy visits, is there anything you want to say to the sluice who put that together? Joey said, bravo. Kelsey said, y'all are good. No, I think it was just Sands. I think she put it all together. Joey said, we tried our best. I was in front of a white wall. She went outside. We are shocked that they put two and two together. We will never underestimate them ever again. Uh... <sighs> and then it goes on and on. Um, so let's go to what else can we cover here? I'm going to share a few mo more clips. Um, here's Joey actually um, on Nick's podcast uh, talking about um, his dad who came out of the closet, who um, sadly they didn't cover on the show. You know, would have been nice, but um, I think they covered it on The Bachelorette, but they, they didn't feature this, this, you know, beautiful story here have a listen i think on charity season it was mentioned obviously your dad came out as gay yeah we didn't get a lot of opportunities to talk about that on your season of the of bachelor course. but obviously that must have been a pivotal time in your life and it must have affected you with your parents just divorce of any kind is difficult and then obviously there's another layer of like you know getting to accept your dad for who he really right. is what was that like and what did you learn about yourself and how did that uh, help you or affect you being a partner in your life thank you for asking that truthfully i love talking about this because my dad is such a special person and i love putting light on this so thank you for asking i, I first have to say because this will explain me more too i didn't know i got my my little sister was in like kindergarten when they separated 
separated and they knew and I, I, I didn't know. Oh, so I you're did. pretty young. It was, I was young. He never sat me down and had that talk because that's a tough talk to have. He and my mom have so much love for each other. Like it's so obvious when you still see them together. It's just an understanding that he lived his true self. I just think he's a really special person and I am so happy that I learned about that and start to understand like what love's like. Got to be able to have him show a side of himself. He is able to live in his true light now. It definitely made me a more understanding person, I would say. I love that man. There it is. I mean, isn't that nice? That's just nice. I'm gl I am glad Nick asked that question. Why did they not feature it on the show? Maybe because like we already got to know Joey and it was more about telling the women's stories. Or maybe there's a segment of our audience that's slightly homophobic and not went ready to address that love comes in all forms. I don't know. Here's another clip. Kelsey, what was your reaction to Daisy at your door? Great question. Let's watch. I was so surprised. And then I saw her emotional. So I immediately got emotional because I was like, what's the matter? What do we need to do? Um, how are you? Uh, then we sat down and we started talking. And she was asking me about how my, my week had been with Joey. And I was a little nervous about saying anything. So she was like, please, like, can you please tell me? You know, kind of. Um, because she needed that clarity and also gave me a lot of clarity, but it was a really special moment and I'm glad that she felt comfortable to come to my room to do so. How did you feel about Kelsey and Daisy coming to the rose ceremony together? Interesting yeah, I question. didn't know about that until after the engagement when we got time together to kind of just recap the day and see how everything has been. And then she told me what happened um, and I was shocked. Like I didn't know that was, I, I said like, I didn't even know that was even possible that you could do that. So, uh, but again, I think it speaks to both of them and, and the relationship that they had, that they felt comfortable to kind of share that moment together. There it is. And then do we have more? Oh my gosh. Bachelor Joey proposed to Kelsey with a ring that embodies her radiance and uniqueness. Yawn. Here's an advertisement for Neil. Uh, four carat diamond. Oh, wow. Hold on. We got a four. I didn't know it was a four carat diamond. Let's uh, have a clip. Of early what on. But, you know, this this is something that I, we did talk about. I didn't know that. She All was. right. So there it is. Joey picked out a four carat diamond with his uh, income as a tennis pro. What's that? They gave it to him. Now, nah, look, of course it's like, you know, Joey's, um, he's been in the bachelor world for a couple of years now. Uh, and, um, obviously Neil Lane, part of the perks of being the bachelor is you get a free ring. Now I'm told these rings are, you know, you know, not always the best quality. Do they have cuts? Do they have clarity? But enough about Joey in the fantasy suite, you know, the four C's of uh, the fantasy suite to show me your piece. What's the cut? Like, is there clear? It's a, uh, what's the color? <laughs> the color? All right. Okay. Wow. The season, tw you know, uh, making a diamond joke. Uh, is that, was that joke as bad as L Leah on live? T At least I'm not on live TV. You know what I mean? I'm just doing my thing here. I want a big, 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 princess cut diamond do you see what i did there i kept the p i made it a whole thing all right you thought i was gonna say penis uh joe i'm sure joey's uh uh a, 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 you know a average okay um in, in a good way you don't want to be you know just um average average good uh, uh, he said, I didn't even grab, I didn't ever grab someone else's hand. I want that to be known. Hers was the only hand I ever grabbed. What is he talking about? Um, uh, the season 28 lead exclusively tells people that while he mentally practiced the act of getting down on one knee to ask for a mystery bride to be's hand in marriage many times, he knew for quite some time, which hand he was hoping to hold. Oh, interesting. So, so that's why he was all stressed out. He put all of his marbles in this one, um, you know, what uh, lady, uh, so there's the ring. I mean, it's a big rock. And then it's got the diamonds on the side. And then this is really nice. Uh, Joey 28 was choosing the ring. He was going to propose to her with, he says he knew it had to fit her hand alone. And luckily the couple discussed the type of cut Kelsey liked best before he picked it up. She's explained that because she thinks that she has longer fingers, which I think are beautiful. She likes to, she likes the more elongated cut. What, what's so funny about people is we become so insecure about our own things that no one else would realize. We're like my ear lobes are too long you know oh my second big toe hangs down for you know you, we just like and everyone's like what are you talking about and you're like oh yeah i got long fingers it's like all right you alien like, <laughs> like no you don't um uh but her long fingers make his okay uh she's explained that because she thinks they has a long finger okay it looks more feminine i think she could wear anything on her hand and it would be beautiful and there they are let's see those fingers oh my gosh kelsey would you pick your nose from your waist like <laughs> hey, 
right. You know, what do you, that's a stupid, uh, what, I mean, what's the benefit of long fingers? You know, you could maybe, um, you, you don't need a remote control. You can just hit the TV from the couch. You can just go ET phone home. All right. I'm losing my mind. Are we done here? I think this is it. I think we made it to the end. Um, what else do I have to cover? I, I, I guess that was it. Well, folks, thanks again. I got to go catch a flight back home. You know, you've, um, inspired, do you guys want to see, can I show you guys a few things? Why don't we do this? Um, why don't I show you guys? Let me let me move to my main screen here. I'm gonna. Do you, do you guys mind? We want to stick around. I'll show you what people gave us last night. Now that now that we're here. And by the way, I do want to say this for those that came to the show. We've got a Facebook community, and I posted all of the photos. Look how sweet everybody is. Here are some of the photos. Everyone. Some came out blurry. Everyone was. Oh, Liren, She came. She's. Uh, we you know we went to high school together 20 years ago. Can you imagine that? Came to the show. So many nice people. They gave gifts there. And um, oh, we just absolutely everybody that came. So if you want to see those photos, maybe you're in some of them. They're on the Facebook community, Dave Neal's community. Now, since we're just going to only make one video and you're still here, so like, why not? I'm going to go. Oh, hold on. So let me go to this. Uh, sorry about this. Um, I'm shooting it live, folks. Uh, but this is... Um, how do I go to the camera source here? Video source here. Hold on. So there I am. Hey, there I am. I have to go in a second. I actually am running late, but I'll just show you the, the, the stuff I got here. One second. I wasn't planning on this, so I wasn't ready for it, but people were so nice. They gave gifts. Look what someone gave us. How sweet is that? Is that not the most adorable? These not for me. These are, these are slightly too small. Um, on, uh, Kelsey's got long fingers. I got small feet. That's what these are for the baby. And then, oh my gosh, can you believe this? Someone custom made six of these. Look at that. Proud child of Dave Neal, some podcaster. Isn't that, uh, they got black ones they made. How great are these? And then, and guys, I, I mean, like, daddies are awesome. I got a book, dogs. And then I got this really nice really and i haven't showed tasha this yet really nice little camo pants for the baby again these are for the baby um and then clayton's parents um gave me a nice baby gift and a nice dinosaur little shirt there how cute is this i'm literally losing my mind and then someone gave me some of these nice arizona wildcats uh three-piece creeper set um how sweet is that uh the love shared with me last night and every day from my audience is something I don't think my soul can properly digest because it's overwhelming, but I thank you all so much. I'll be back on Patreon in a couple minutes, patreon.com slash Dave Neal, and then I'll have my afternoon rush hour, and that'll be it for today. I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye, everyone.